Ahoy there, YouTube! I'm back again today for another Kickstarter critique where I take a look at a different Kickstarter tabletop game project every weekday at 1.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Give my honest thoughts on how that project is being ran. And today, I am very excited to be checking out the third most popular project on all of games. That is Worms, the board game. And the third mo uh, this is... Uh, I see, so it's Worms. That's all we got. August 29th. Hilarious Worms gameplay... On your table, grab your friends and unleash classic weapons, sneaky tactics, dot, dot, dot. So I believe I've played Worms once or twice in my life, I believe, on the PC. Other than that, eh? Um, so as always, when we come into these intellectual property Kickstarters, I look at it from two perspectives. The fan, the fan of Worms and people who aren't fan of Worms who might be converted if this looks like a fun board game. And from the get-go... I don't feel like they're really going for that second category at all. It's more like a, hey, we've got the license to Worms. We're here. Throw us money. Like, no components, no box, no player count, no time length, no age, no mechanisms, no nothing. Just, hey, we got Worms. Give us your money. So, eh, meh. As always, when we go in the video, I'm thinking three things. Do I want a candy? Do it? How much is it? Let's go. Hello everyone, all that worm warfare is coming to tabletops everywhere. Enjoy a spot of multiplayer mayhem for two to four players. Unleash your favorite weapons, the humble baseball bat. Yes, sir! <laughs> no! Okay, so I feel like they did a great job spotlighting the minis there. I mean, that's what a lot of people are going to back this for is just the component quality, and I feel like they're spotlighting it front and center these look like really nice pre-painted minis they look good good afternoon i played a ton of worms as a young man i think i remember playing it on the pc because i remember it was like a whole bunch of players on the screen at once if i recall correctly First blood. thrilling airstrikes Incoming. Oh, oof. Unstoppable. and even the local wildlife my turn <laughs> Do watch your step. And collect your things. Got it! Try not to make a mess of the place. And keep an eye on the weather. Grenade! Stupid! Protect your team and bump off the opposition to win. Victory! Back today to secure your copy with lots oh. of exciting extras. So they're not prepainted minis, but it, ooh, there's a lot of minis there, plus daily reveals, okay. Okay, it looks fun, I wanna play it. I feel like they did a good job conveying to me what this game is, you know, it looks like a really simple battle royale style game. You're gonna be trying to kill all the other worms there. You got cool, kooky abilities, presumably, which you'll recognize if you're a worms fan. So after the video, do I want it? I feel like if I'm a fan of Worms, yes. I feel like if I'm not a fan of Worms, it's going to be heavily attached to who the designer, publisher, and the price is. But I'm not I'm not out. I'm not out. I think it looks fun. Does the game make the sound effects? Uh, no, I think that was them. <laughs> Cute video, mechanics, and components. Yeah, I feel like that video, rock solid. Main image, still hate. Hate its guts. But the video, not too bad. Two to four players, ages 10 plus, 45 minutes. Okay, so that is a really competitive time length. I was really expecting more than two to four players. I gotta say, I'm a little bit disappointed there. Um, in the 14 years since the launch, Manic Games has are, has released many complete tabletop gaming systems, including Hellboy, The Walking Dead, King of War, Mars Attacks, Dreadballs. They're known for their minis games. I don't think they're particularly known for great games or even good games, honestly, though. I've never really, in all my time in this hobby, heard anyone like glowing about any of their games. Which doesn't mean they're bad games, it's just, I've been in the hobby for 11 years... You hear things about companies, and I've never really heard anything particularly great about their games. Uh, August update, production on track. So this one's not out yet, but they're they're doing uh, they're doing the due diligence. July, August, June, good. Monthly updates, terrain crate. So this is just for plastic pieces or something, files for it, whatevs. The journey begins, uh, so this is from August. Very short update, our shipping container has been packed with all your wonderful stuff, so not out yet. Umbrella Academy cancelled interesting all right 
Umbrella Academy late pledges now available. Wasn't it canceled? What? Did you? Didn't you? What? Okay. What am I missing here? It's funded. No, it wasn't. It wasn't funded. What are you talking about? It was canceled. What the hell's going on here? Greetings. We're just letting you know. Oh, the, so they they re oh they put it up on GameFound, and on GameFound they don't actually need sixty three thousand. They only need sixty one thousand, or something. I I also find it really humorous that 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 uh, that's okay. So it's really interesting to me. Okay. Anywho, continuing on. Hellboy. Is this one out? Well, is this is this out? No, this one's not out. So we got three things not out. I think this one is out. Yes. Uh, drink with skeletons. As some of you have realized, unfortunately, the shipper we use in the U.S. has mixed up Queen Nibu and drinking with skeletons. Oh, so this one, yeah, the last update is from last year, so this one is out. Okay. And let's make sure Hellboy, the role-playing game, is av available. Okay, cool. So we have three things out. This is the fourth thing. Um, it's not great, but it's not the end of the world. Can you do it? Ahoy, Ricardo! I'll give it a, a tentative... Sure. They got 120000 bucks. They're going to make this happen. A hilarious game of strategy, chance at exploding sheep, available in English, French, German, Italian, Spanish, and Polish. Wow, they're really going gung-ho on all those languages. $79. All right, convince me. Uh, 79 euros. I'd convert the currency. I hate that. It's lazy. You've done 25 Kickstarters. And you real Oh, actually, wow, the majority of people here from the United Kingdom. Oh, shut my mouth, even though I imagine by the end of this, that will not be the case. But... Uh, for most Kickstarter projects, let's check out this one, for instance, United States of America is going to be the most dominant. Yeah. So 5,793 to 2,000, even though they are really crushing the UK. Good for them. Uh, but yeah, I'd convert the currency. So I'm looking at around 84 bucks. So we got 45 worms, many as a rule booklet. Include five to six player expansion. Well, then, duh. duh if it did, don't put two to four players. I, mean, I saw that, and that was an immediate negative for me. I was like, yep, yeah, two to four players, that kind of sucks. The one thing I remember about Worms was the crazy, frantic, multiplayer mayhem of it. Don't lead with two to four, especially if the thing that everyone is going to buy has five to six. I don't, I, I don't get that. Oil drums, mine, and supply crates, cool. Looks fun. It looks like a fun game. And then all daily reveals. Back today to bring the nostalgia, fun, and utter mayhem of Worms to life right on your table. A must play for any Worms fan. <laughs> Click to set up. Quick to set up, generate the landscape, double-sided, I do like that. Assign the teams and starting weapons, that looks cool. gameplay lies. this looks fun, I want to play it, looks neat. Alright, overview. For me, Worms is not something that can translate to a good board game. Aiming in the video game is such an important part of the game. Yeah, I remember that, there was like this thing where it like went, side. Yeah, okay, that is the game I'm thinking about. Uh, it's more of a dexterity thing. The board game doesn't have that. Haha, -ha, Yogi Bear, the sound effects were one of the best parts of the game. Hard to translate that to the board game, huh? You know, unless they had an app, like a soundboard app, that'd be cool. Completely unnecessary, but cool nonetheless. Game modes. Once you've played your first few games, an optional section of the rulebook lets you customize your game settings. Play with with or without a timer, true elimination, sudden death, parting gifts, and more. Okay, lots of, uh, what is it? Uh, uh, wow, I'm drawing a blank. The things at the end of the rule booklet. Variants. Explosions for okay, we got a preview. Here we go. Here. Beautiful, full gameplay. There, you can see it if you want to. Do we have a rule booklet? Hopefully, we have a rule booklet somewhere in there. It plays so fast, and it's so much fun. Okay, the game does exactly what you'd want out of a Worms board game. It'll have you feeling nostalgic because you experience that same chaotic sort of fun, but now on the tabletop. So pretty much, these are just saying, "Hey, it's fast," which I kind of got from the forty. Well, forty-five minutes. Party game meets a tactics game. Interesting, with a bunch of zany, crazy weapons. They did it justice. You wanted chaos. This is chaos. That's a terrible quote. Pledge levels. Select your pledge. And I, yeah, a soundboard app I think would go over well, especially with this crowd, if you're trying to get that nostalgia going there. All out worms, warfare on the tabletop. Convert the currency. Come on, Mantic. So 15 alt worm sculpts. They look cool. Over 80 cards. Rule booklet. 3D sculpted items. Tokens and weapons. Okay, so I feel like that's a pretty reasonable price. I don't have an issue with that price. And I think that's going to go over really well with fans of the of the game. I think 80 bucks. We haven't got to the shipping yet. So this is the Armageddon. All right, you were trying to get an extra $40 out of my pocket. What is it? Two new landscapes. Okay. Three collector's art prints. Don't care. Deluxe D. Don't care. Playmat. Okay. Extra dice set. 
So I'm going to make a bold proclamation that this is not the most popular pledge level. Typically, I have something called Bauer's Law, uh, which is that the most popular pledge level is always going to be the one with the most fancy bells and whistles. And that's not me saying that. That's just every day when I shop, that's typically what it is. But I don't feel like this $40 value, I don't feel like I'm feeling this at all. I don't, I don't feel the $120 price jump. But let's check that out and see. So 79 bucks. We got 366 I was wrong. Of course, Bowers Law stands, even though I didn't think it was going to stand today. 818 bucks, good for them. So they're selling the most popular one, even though it comes with art prints, dice tray. That's that's that play mat. The play mat's nice. What's the dimensions on that one? 90 by 90 centimeters. Come on, convert the damn measurements. So lazy. 35 inches, that's a big one. That's a honker. All right, cool. Uh, pledges, the retail edition, late 2024. Mayhem pledge, Armageddon pledge. Okay. Cool. Daily reveals. Tomorrow, locked add-ons. Oh, so we're going to, starting tomorrow, we're going to start showing all of them. Cool. So there's a reason to come back to this campaign as well. I feel like they're doing a pretty good job here on Worms fans. And, and yeah, I'd say even non-Worms fan. I mean, it looks like a fun game. I would like to play this game. I imagine that if I played this game, I would have a good time with this game. Because it just looks like a silly, fun time. Point guns at people, go around. Um, so no rule booklet, though. Not a big fan of that. I'm sure Bowers Law will stay intact. Well, I mean, that's right there. That's what I'm talking about. I don't feel like that's a particularly great... Wow, it's up to $151. I don't feel like it's a particularly great value. Uh, but still, people backing it. Duties and taxes included over 2 to 1. Uh, cool. Regions listed as shipping friendly will have the VAT and custom pay for as part of the pledge. Great. And then the shipping price is... What am I looking at? Wow, 120 bucks pretty much for that base game. Jumping all the way up to nearly 200 bucks, 190 bucks. Golly, and maybe that's why the United States is not number one, which typically it is, because those shipping is not great. Not great. All right, that's it. Pretty quick and concise one. Don't mind that. 12 minutes in and out the door. Let's check out the FAQ. How many players... Can the play the Worms board game? Put that on the marquee. You want to have people asking that as a frequently asked question, but why would you do that? It's on the side of every box. What age is the game suitable for? Once again, if you put these things on the marquee or on your image, you don't have to put them into the frequently asked question. Is this a cooperative or competitive game? I, you shouldn't have to ask that this far into it. How do you win? How long does an average game last? So literally, three of the seven... It's actually more than seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Go home, Kickstarter, you're drunk. You don't have seven FAQ. Are, are literally just the things that you already should have. And as someone who's made 25 Kickstarter projects, you should know that. Do the miniatures need building or painting? No. Uh, yeah, they're pre-assembled. And that was the other thing. Showing those painted minis was a little bit confusing, but it's not the end of the world. Does the game capture the mayhem of the video games? Blah, blah, blah. Okay. We have liftoff. Hello. First, we want to say, wait, what's that? Funded in 13 minutes. Wow. A huge thank you for jumping on board for the start with the whole team here at Manic Games. Yeah, they had 15K of pre-launch. That's a great number. Throughout the campaign, we'll have daily reveals, which means that every 24 hours, we'll unveil some new and exciting thing you haven't seen yet, such as new worms, new weapons, or other surprises. Cool. Uh, and maybe that will make me feel more comfortable about the value. They're doing the CMON thing where they're going to slowly unveil everything. Then by the end, it looks like a great deal. Maybe that's what's going to happen. Um, but... Even though I'm not a particularly big fan of the value, I think if you're just a fan of Worms, you've had that nostalgia bug, I think they did a good job here. Also, any chance for solo modes? That'd be nice. OMG, so excited. Do the different... La I wish there were painted minis add-on, especially considering that's the first thing we see, and it really did wow me. It was like, oh, that looks nice. Uh, the extra land stakes are an aesthetic add-on, but of course we also provide you with extra tiles. Uh, is there any chance you could add the worm in pink instead of gray? Okay, final grade on this one. Worms the board game. Do I want it? I didn't think I was going to, honestly. I'll be, I always like to be blunt honest with this. I, was, uh, I came into this expecting not to probably want it, but I did. The video looked fun. Like, it looks like a fun little game. Also, knowing it goes up to six players, despite the fact you told me it's two to four players right from the jump, which, whatever. Uh, yes, I'm in. The price is not great. 100, 120 bucks, man. Yeah, the price is real not great. Mm. Do I want it? Yeah, yeah. And I think if you're a fan of Worms, I think you it looks fun. Can you do it? Yeah. You're charging 120 bucks for the game. 
in and out the door to the United States of America. Yeah, uh, yeah, you can do it. And then how much is it? Um, doesn't seem great. Now, I'm curious. I want to know, just for my own personal, I want to look at their track record and see if there's, like, some games that I just don't know about that they have that are, like, really highly rated. Uh, so, yeah, Mantic Games. Let's go check this out. So, 1300 Okay. That's very respectable. 1300 2600 2655 2871 Well, I will shut my mouth. That's a pretty damn good thing. That's top. Good stuff. Good stuff there. I've just never heard anybody talk about it. I have literally never heard about anybody talk about any of these games, but they're highly rated. So, kudos to them. That gets me more excited for it as well. So, Final Grant. I'm glad I checked that, honestly. Do I want it? Yeah, I kind of do. And I feel like if you're a fan of Worms, you're even more kind of there. How much is it? Not great. And then can you do it? Yeah, sure. And it seems like you do stuff pretty well. So final grade on this one. Um, hate that main image. Main image is just so boring, generic, bland. Converting the currencies. Like, come on. Really? You should know you need to do that. Little things like that, no rule booklet, that's annoying, but there is a full gameplay video, but there's reasons to come back. We didn't beat around the bush, we get straight to the price. Yeah, I think it would be minus two. I think, Sean, I'm right, I'm right around there. Overall, really solid. Solid little project says, Worms the board game. I think the price is going to scare off a lot of people, because I don't think it's good at all. But, aside from that, looks pretty solid. Let me know in the comments below what's your final grade for Worms the board game. And as always, if you're enjoying the content, please be sure to click on that subscribe button down below as I'm trying to reach 17,000 subscribers in 2023 to make it my biggest year ever. 2,000 subscribers away from there. 1,900, actually. So uh, if you haven't, check that out. As always, thanks for your time, YouTube. Bye-bye.